Today we channel our inner Kaiba and open his briefcase. This is gonna be very difficult. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening Kaiba's briefcase, which was a release over in Japan. I think there was like a thousand, couple thousand of them released and it's a pretty expensive product. I think it was like $300 and I was sent this by Aladdin is Best on Twitter. He actually sent it over for me to open up, you know, just to show you guys and send it back to him. So this is pretty awesome. This thing is super heavy and large. So I'm gonna have some like video showing you guys like what it looks like on the outside and when you open it up. And then I'm gonna like go through the contents like right here so we can actually do it. But let's do a giveaway. I'll be giving away brothers of legend booster box all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you think about this kaiba's briefcase do you want it in english because right now it's only in the ocg so we don't have it yet i think it'd be pretty cool to see in english let me know what you think all right the main attraction are the three blue eyes right oh my goodness look at these blue eyes white dragons look insane Oh my goodness, I think to actually get them out, you need to like unscrew this thing, which I am sending this back to the guy, so I don't think we're gonna unscrew them, but let's just look at it, wow. That's beautiful. These are in like immaculate condition as well. Cause I think everyone that's been sent to get graded has gotten a 10 so far. So like these things are in pristine condition. What do you expect? It's OCG product. Of course they are. So a secret parallel rare, what do you want to call that? Like DDS blue eyes looking kind of foil. I mean, it looks amazing. Not completely the same as the DDS, but pretty amazing OCG blue eyes by dragons, just like in the anime. So cool. Like the main draw of this video basically is this, but there's also a lot of like cool Kaiba cards as well. Let's just keep that right there. Cause that looks really awesome then there's like some dividers and then i think these go with them as well so this is some more divider stuff so if you want to divide up your cards using kaiba corp pretty cool i mean that's really really nice there's also some really like nice foam in there right now and you also get all of these awesome kaiba cards including the blue eyes ultimate dragon so this is pretty awesome as well we're gonna open these up and go through them real quick all right we got these all out this is pretty awesome there's some old school classic cards this is an entire deck of cards we have the blue eyes ultimate dragon pretty beautiful i don't know if they're all foil or not we're about to find out what card is this? I don't know what card this is. This is a different artwork, I think, for us for a card or one we never got. The, uh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know these cards. Some of these are actually exclusive to the OCG, I think, or like anime exclusive. This is the first time they've ever come out. This could be them, actually. Yeah, I think it's these three cards. Whatever this card is. I mean, I think they were in the anime, but I don't know what they are. I need to rewatch the anime. And another blue eyes. So you not only get the three blue eyes, this is the, the fourth blue eyes. So maybe he had two of these he had this one and then he ripped the third one yeah you know, you know four blue eyes ever but no not really I, I don't actually know why that's in there it's kind of interesting heo zanru is in here does kaiba use this i didn't remember that that kaiba used heo zanru that's pretty sweet the judge man everyone remembers him using this it's a classic kaiba card the judge man Ooh, the sword stalker yeah it's such a bad card six star actually not even five star six star 2000 attack not good at all but pretty awesome we got the Steel Ogre Grotto number one, I believe. So he's got a lot of like one tribute monsters, which is pretty funny. But I guess when you don't need a tribute, it doesn't matter. Here's the card. This is the card that you can stop a gun with. I don't know if you guys know. Am I supposed? Am I allowed to say that? Are you allowed to say that word? I don't know. Yeah, he like takes this in the original OCG and he like chunks it into like the little like, I don't know. I don't know how those things work, how the like, guns work, but it like got stuck in the little part and it like doesn't shoot. It, yeah, it is pretty epic. But if you haven't seen the original like OCG, you should go watch it because in the TCG, of course, they cut it all out because of like the dub and stuff like that. They took a bunch of stuff out, but it was really funny. He's like, yeah. And then he also does it again later in Battle City. He chucks a card at somebody and it, like sticks into their arm. It's crazy. So yeah, this is one of this is the card he used originally to throw. So it's very dangerous as a throwing star. We've got the uh, what is this guy's name? The uh, gear. I remember it has no rust. I remember this. It's rustless. So pretty cool. The uh, Rude Kaiser. I always thought this was really cool artwork. Very cool artwork. Very wimpy card though. Five star 1800. But Vorce Raider, four star 1900. He can be summoned and he has more attack. So kind of funny. We got the X head cannon. We're going to get all of those. We've got the La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. The battle ox. Very cool as well. The Ryukishin Power Man. These cards are in like, they're really solid. They're in nice condition. We got the uh, Mystic Horseman, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this one is an OCG. I don't know what card this is. A what in the world is this? It's 1300. It's very small. I don't remember him using that though. There's, it kind of looks like Hitatsumi Giant's like cousin or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Except he has two eyes. Hitatsumi Giant has one, his cousin has two. Uh, the Ryu, not Ryu Senshi, Ryu something. I don't remember what it is. Soggy the Dark Clown. This is a very, very nice classic. I always love Soggy the Dark Clown. Very cool card. Obelisk the Tormentor. Bump, bump. I don't know, but 
maybe it's because obelisk has been printed so much i just feel like i don't feel like as excited about this artwork in this card as i as i do about other cards i don't know why it's just something maybe it's because he takes up so much of the artwork and it just like doesn't have any shine or anything maybe that's what it is the mass beast death guardians this was not one of his cards this was one of lumis and umbra's cards the kaiser glider i don't remember who used this to be honest uh ooh, something about the shadow right what is this card Oh, I forgot what that one is. Is that in PSV? It might be. Uh, I know this is something about an imp, too. It's like Feral Imp something. Not Feral Imp. It's maybe Death Feral Imp. I don't know. Ooh, that's a pretty card for, like, a GOAT format. The Blade Knight. That's beautiful. The Y Dragon Head. Why aren't these together? This is the X Head and now the Y Head. There's the Z, so that's actually together. The Lord of D, a classic. The Wicked Worm Beast. Pretty nice. Um, the lamp, the something about a lamp, uh, you know, ancient lamp, ancient lamp. It's in retro pack one, I think, actually. The XYZ dragon cannon. Let me know what you guys think about these. Do you guys like these cards? Like, are they, do you like the classic anime cards? I don't know. Um, I think most of y'all do, but just let me know what you think about this re how, reprinting all these and like seeing these in the OCG and just the whole product in general. Uh, why is this XY? I can never remember which one is which. I think it's XY. Then we have Rabbit Horseman. That's a classic. This always looks beautiful. The original art with the hollow. I mean, it looks incredible. The Monster Reborn. Polymerization. We got Stop Defense as well. This is like Mesmeric something. I don't remember. The uh, Summon, 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 Summoning Dragon. Not Summon Skull. I was trying to say Summon Skull. Soul Exchange. This is Soul of Summon Silent Doomed. Something like that. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember this one, but I, I do remember the artwork, but I don't remember what it's called. Cost Down. That's a DCR Ultra Rare. We've got Card of Demise. Very amazing card. The Fiend Sanctuary. This is a shrink. This could be a prize card, except it would have to be in English. And then we have the Enemy Controller. The Megamorph. We've got Dark Energy. Very cool card. A very bad card, but very cool. Uh, spell Absorption. Oh, we Rux and Special. Oh, we almost missed the Crush Card Virus. Another one that could be a prize card. This would be such a cool card to own in prize card form. We've got the uh, Gift of the Mystical Elf. Ring of Destruction. I honestly like the English art better than the OCG art. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this art better? I like the old, I like the, the art we got. I think it looks a lot better. And uh, yeah, I just don't like this art very much. It has grenades on it. It just looks kind of clunky. I don't know. I like the one we got. I think it looks cooler um virus cannon doom virus cannon maybe um ooh, the the teleporter what's it called the uh mystical space teleporter or something oh i forgot or transporter ah cloning he he yells it in the anime i can't remember the shadow spell we've got oh attack final attack orders and a gate attack is that it okay so that's a lot of cards actually like look how many that is that was more than i originally thought that's a ton of old school classics and really if you're buying this it's for this so do you guys think it was worth it i think the resale is like a lot more for this so i honestly these three blue eyes just make it pretty freaking awesome wow that looks so good they look incredible i want to get a set of these at some point but i didn't buy it because buying japanese product can be kind of like awkward if you don't know where to get it from so i didn't know at the time like anywhere to get it so i didn't get it so once again shout out to aladdin is king i think it's his name on twitter for sending us this because this is pretty awesome and just being able to see it and i know you guys probably want to see it as well because it's not like that easy to get so i know a lot of people didn't open it so here is like your chance to see it so pretty awesome pretty cool there's not a ton in there but you know it's a briefcase what do you want i guess technically his briefcase was you know the one he tried to trade to yugi's grandpa was insane but it was not that one it was the one with only this many cards in it so maybe we're owed more cards here that's what i'm thinking i don't know more cards <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content shout out to tcg trust cards tomefo show tomato juice daxter jt Cho, puffins of doom ernesto deanda squirtle flexi boy dizzy stanley mike nance mimic gecko ian musa junior barding john nolan and untai show thomas mclean and seth fisher thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace